Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Bust Your Bookie Show. Today is Tuesday, September 24th, going over our best plays in the WNBA. It is playoff time. We didn't have any games yesterday, but we are back, and we're back with our guy, LB. Catch him on Twitter at LB underscore PRA underscore locks. And he has started his uh, paid VIP at this point for the Dub Club. If you'd like to join his Dub Club, use code BYB. And you can join it for only $5 a month. It's a great deal. I told you guys for a while he had his free VIP going, but it wasn't going to last. And so he is giving a special discount, though, because you guys are all viewers of the Bust Your Bookie show. So use code BYB to join for just $5 a month. If this is your first time here, welcome to the show. What we do here, we give you our top plays along with the opportunity for a giveaway. A lot of our shows, we got four plays, and we do $40, but we have three plays, and we will do a $20 giveaway on this show. If you'd like to qualify, all that you need to do, number one, subscribe, hit it right now. Number two, comment below, 3-0, and oh, give us the good vibes, and the number three, like the video. You do all that, and LB sweeps. I will cash up somebody 20 bucks. We did sweep on our Monday night football commanders game yesterday and i will cash up somebody 20 bucks on thursday night football so be sure to set your notifications so you guys can catch that anyways we are back with lb tell us a little bit how we did a couple days ago lb yeah first day of playoffs i knew it was uh possibly rough but the lines are tightening up uh really just gonna try and stay away from some of the totals um teams are uh you know it really came out blazing and so we didn't get the, our unders we were searching for in that minnesota game at all minnesota's uh snuck out with the win but the, uh, they really were scoring at a high clip from the start of the game. So they've, their playoff mode seems to be uh, a, a much faster pace uh, than regular season. So kind of got to throw some of those trends out of the window. But hurt us on the under there. Uh, Aja Wilson was a little bit slow out the gate and uh, struggled a little bit in the second half to get some scoring in. Uh, so did both teams. So she only finished with 20 points um, as we were searching for 25 there. Um we we had the uh, sun pretty much uh, correct there the way that the way that one played out they just were outmatched or well I'm sorry the fever was just outmatching that in that uh, in that uh, contest as well so saw that one through and then uh, just the scoring just didn't happen we got hooked on the uh, on the uh, on the uh, Liberty game just by just by our points so, um, just some tough little spots we're going to focus on some player props today that that showed up in these matchups. Um, for this first game and some consistent trends from uh, the regular season. So I'm going to roll that way for uh, for today's games and uh, probably see two sweeps today. Let's get it. We've got two games and we've got three plays for you guys, all player props. The first two are going to be in the Atlanta versus New York game, 630 Central Time. You've got New York favored by 12 and a half. And the first player we're talking about is Miss Sabrina Ionescu. She's averaging 18.2 points per game, 4.4 rebounds, 6.2 assists. And what we're looking at her is her assist line here. Six and a half. What are your thoughts on this line? Yeah, so they gave us the line to clear based on the last game. So normally that's like a public line. Stay away from it. Probably fade it. Try it at six and see how it goes. But uh, they really put the ball in her hand, taking it out of uh, Vandersloot's hand. Uh Played her in the pick and roll quite a bit with Stewie early on and uh, with uh, surprisingly with uh, John Quill Jones as well. So we saw those uh, matchups give some uh, pretty early points. Uh, Atlanta just had no resistance for uh, for that inside outside game that was happening early for uh, for the Liberty. So uh, we're looking to to get Sabrina in this spot. She's she's. Uh, you know, all all around guard. She obviously can't score the ball, but when she puts her mind to it to get our, our teammates involved, she does that. I think we see that in this game. Uh, you know, the dream are just – they're just undermatched. They just can't – they're not going to be able to keep up in this game. Uh, the spread is set at 12 and a half again. I do see uh, – the Liberty taking care of business and moving on to the second round in this game. And that's going to come from her moving the ball early. Uh, we'll probably see the six assists before halftime and get the seventh early in the third. That's, that's kind of the way this uh, flowed in the last game. So I think we see a repeat of that. And so we're going to go with that because it's plus money. I got it at plus plus one ten when I took it. Lock and then we're taking Ionescu over six and a half assists as our first play at plus money. All right. Play number two, we are staying on this game, and we're looking at Ryan Howard. 
on the year, Miss Howard averaging 17.3 points, 4.4 rebounds, 3.1 assists. And what we're doing here, we are looking at her rebound line, three and a half over or under. What are your thoughts, LB? Yeah, when she's at three and a half, you have to take it. Normally, she's a player that they uh, really toy with us on the four and a half. Sometimes she's been as high as five and a half throughout the course of the season. But in this spot, she has uh, seven rebounds in the first game. Uh, she's She's been over four rebounds in uh, three of the last four games as well. Uh, she, she's the one player that's going to be on the floor fighting for every opportunity. Uh, it seems to just matter a little bit more to her than her teammates. Her teammates seem to be a little bit defeated throughout most of that first uh, first contest, but she was uh, pretty much effort, you know, effort was consistent throughout. So I want to ride that energy there with a good line that we got at a good price. And so we're going for four rebounds for Ryan Howard in this win or lose, you know, fight or stay home, however it goes for her. Uh, sh she's going to be on the floor for the dream and uh, hopefully get these rebounds early for us. Lock it in. We're taking Howard over three and a half rebounds as the second play. All right, we are going to transition now into the second game on the slate, and that is the Seattle Storm at Las Vegas Aces. This game's right after. These games are both on ESPN, by the way. You've got the Aces favored by seven and a half, but we are sticking with our player props, Miss Gabby Williams. On the year, she's averaging 10.3 points, four rebounds, 3.7 assists, and we're looking at her rebound plus assist line of 8.5. Break it down for us, LB. All right. So Gabby's uh the 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 French uh import here. She uh, had a really great Olympics, uh gave gave the US quite a bit of a scare uh in their uh, championship game. Uh and she built up that energy coming into the second half of the season as well. Um, she's just in a spot for the storm. The, the aces already have trouble rebounding in general. And when aggressive guards like her, uh, you know, decide they want to get to rebounds early on, Chelsea, uh, Jackie, and, and uh, uh, Plum just do not – provide that resistance so she was able to get seven rebounds in the first contest the line is slightly inflated because of that she's also a facilitator that's a little bit um, more consistent with finding uh, scoring opportunities right away than than Lloyd has so when she's in the backcourt with uh, Diggins she's another reliable uh, uh, you know ball, ball distributor there so uh, the rebound and assist line at eight and a half was just a little too hard to pass up on her. They're going to be, you know, in a position to have a fighting effort in this game. They don't want to get swept. Uh, I still like the aces if you want to lean that way. Uh, the seven and a half is the same line we got in the last game. Um, you know, they didn't clear that. So we have to look and see if that's a, a spot you want to take here. But I do see the storm fighting to stay in this one. Uh, but probably won't get this done, but she's a player for the Storm that's going to have effort throughout. So you want to get the rebounds and assists her at a low line of eight and a half. It probably should be a nine and a half line based on uh, her performance, but since we get it at eight and a half, we're going to take the value there. Absolutely. I love it. And even I'm looking at just her previous games. She's cleared this in the last five in a row. So absolutely yeah. love it, LB. We're taking Gabby Williams over eight and a half rebounds plus assists as our third and final play. All right, here's a recap on all three of our plays. We're taking Ionescu over six and a half assists. We're taking Howard over three and a half rebounds. And then Williams over eight and a half rebounds plus assists for our three plays for today. Just a reminder, if you'd like to qualify for the giveaway, number one, subscribe. Number two, comment below. Three and oh, give us the good vibes. And then number three, like the video. You do all that and we sweep. I'll cash up somebody 20 bucks. And then again, another reminder, join LB's VIP for only $5 a month. Use code BYB at checkout to get that discount and take advantage of it. All of his best plays will be posted in there. Yep. Our motto on the show is to bust your bookie. Let's go for the 3-0 sweep today, LB. All right, good deal. And we'll see you guys Thursday as well. We'll get some good plays in for college football and NFL look ahead. So, be uh, be sure to tune in and set those notifications for those as well. Been doing pretty well in the NFL as well. Yep, good call. Appreciate it.